aren't you? So, you know, not really my fault, you know. Uh, let's see if I can uh, okay, yeah. Oh, no, that's yesterday. Was that yesterday, was it? Today. All the days are merging into one another now. Sounds we connected. As in, we're live in the group. We are. Are we? Yeah. Can you see it? I can see it. I can, yeah. It's your telly on the own. It is. Yes, it's Matt Gattis talking about Aldous Beasley or somebody like that. Some erotic artist of the Victorian oh. age. Um, yeah. What, did he dare to show a lady's ankles or something? It was quite graphic. Was he? In his representation of his artwork. It was oh. shocking even to people like Oscar Wilde. Really? Wow. Um, but he died young of tuberculosis. Right. And as they called it then, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, sounds yeah. interesting. Does, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll just finish my roll and then I will show you the progress on my cardigan. Oh. Have you been working hard on it? Um, I don't know that I've been working hard, but I've been doing some. A bit. Yeah, a bit. And when you show me your cardigan, I'll show you my cow. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. I didn't get so much done yesterday. I was absolutely shattered after not sleeping much the night before. I think mm. I just crashed at about seven o'clock last night. I stayed up till about ten. Um, I was catching up on some episodes of Seal Team on Sky. Um, I had one of Avenue Five to watch with Hugh Laurie. Yeah. Um. What else did I watch? Um, oh, some Murdoch mysteries that I'd recorded. All right, okay. So you're having a bit of a telly fest? I was, yeah. Just trying to sort of get up to date. And I, because the skybox failed to record, and I wasn't particularly watching it for a while. I didn't realise for a good couple of weeks. So I've been trying to get um, on and catch up and download some of the episodes. I missed the beginning of the latest Murdoch series. And missed the end of Madam Secretary. And odd annoying things like that. But that's like it. It's not exactly. It's what happens, I suppose. It is a bit annoying, though, isn't it? It is. Why can't I see us live in the group? I can see us. I can see yesterday is where I've got my brown gym from. No, definitely. Um, I've got my knits out and everything. I can see it. What's going it's on? Bizarre, isn't it? It's obviously just my laptop. So, so we're glitching the matrix again. Something like that. Might be operator area at this end. Right. That's a bit annoying. Oh yeah, that's coming along lovely. Yeah. And I've got much wider sleeves 
Yeah. And then narrow it back. And the fronts are more or less as the pattern. Right, okay. You should have plenty of boobage room for what bit I've got. I've had to order some brows today. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's lovely, that. Yeah, Mary Chen, it's called. It's called what? Mary Chen. Mary um, Chen. Mary Chen, as in like Marie. Ah, right, okay, yeah. It looks lovely. It's very well written and really easy to follow. Um, I thought it was going to do some German short rows yesterday, but it wasn't. It was some abbreviation that I hadn't read prior to starting for double seed stitch. Oh, right. Or is this going to be a double stitch thing, which is often used to describe German short rows in a hot Yeah. So I stopped working on it on the basis that I didn't want to cock up any short rows or not pay attention and then I started reading through the instructions again later on and I'm thinking these are complete rows, these aren't short rows at all, what are you talking about woman? <laughs> right, so it wasn't as complicated as you thought it was going to be at that point? Not at all, no. It's all right then, it's fine. There we go, let's have a look at my cowl. You see that? Whoa, I love the colour changes. Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, looking forward to getting the blue done. So, um, I literally just got into the blue yesterday, hadn't I? So that's I didn't really get much done on it last night, as you can see. But like I said, I just crashed. So sometimes you just need a kit. Sometimes you just need a kit, without a doubt. And last night was one of those nights. And I also woke up suddenly, uh, I think it was about three o'clock in the morning, to the realisation that I know, I think I know, what is causing my rash, like on my neck and everything. No. When I went shopping the other week, I couldn't get my usual brand of laundry detergent. So I think that's what it was because I washed my bedding in the different kind and obviously I've got the quilt up there, haven't I? And I think that's what's causing it. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely would, yeah. Yeah. So ho-hum. There's not a lot you can do at the moment, though. We just have to go with what we can get, don't we? Well, yeah. I'm going to have a foray out to the shops tomorrow and see what it is. Um, I'm told Al Aldi's well organised, as does his chaotic when busy. Right. Um, somebody posted in one of the local groups um, who works in the local co-op Yeah. in the town centre and apparently some woman had been effing and screaming at her yesterday about the the two metre distancing and only five people allowed in the shop. Well, I'm afraid I'd have called the police and I'd have dragged out the shop. I wouldn't have been tolerating that. Because it's not on, is it, really? No, for any of it. Is it assault? Is it officially assault? Um, I suppose you could call it a fray. Right. If you're personally attacking someone like that. Behaviour under Section 5 of the Public Order Act 1986, I believe. Mm. I would phone it in as a fray. Right. Disturbance so that of the peace. It's on record that they know that I understand that law. Yeah. Fray can be a three month jail sentence. Mm. So it's much more serious for the person being carted away right and it also says to the police officer that you you know what you're dealing with yeah it's no good them saying oh we haven't got any powers for this well actually you have yeah and it dates back to 1986 and it's none of the new powers it's the existing powers you've already had oh there you go then so i always make a point of quoting whatever act at them because otherwise they do the, oh, well, you know, we decided not to put it. No, no, no. Yeah, just brush you off. Yeah. And I understand it's because they're undermanned and. Yeah. 
haven't necessarily got the right number of people with the right powers of the rest and all the rest of it. I know it's very difficult. It's not a job I'd want to do at the moment. It must be extremely challenging. No, I did um I did apply for the police when I was eighteen. Did you? I failed the bleep test. Oh, okay. By two lengths. I couldn't run in those days. I didn't start running properly till I was forty, so I would have loved to have been in the police. I don't think I'd be very good at, you know, uh, being a detective and thinking outside of the box and trying to think how things match up. But I, I, I would like to work um, maybe family liaison or something, victim support. Mm. I think I'd have been good like that. Mm, victim support is a double-edged sword. Oh, it's a toughie, isn't it? Yeah, because very often it isn't victim support at all. It's observance of the people who may have committed the crime. <laughs> well, you just don't know, do you? No, um, you don't. And it, it, most people are killed by someone they know or someone they know. So it's unusual for it to be a complete stranger. It is, or yeah. A terrorist thing or something like that. Yeah. I so, it up some speed on me. So what? I seem to have got some speed on my knitting today. Oh, well done. Get, get yourself <laughs> flames going on those needles. Yeah, they do with something. <laughs> so are you looking forward to going out tomorrow then? Are you a bit apprehensive or is it, you know? I'm curious to see how it is. I need to go to the garage and sort out booking in my car. Yeah. Or perhaps I might just send his son a message through Facebook rather than calling in because I want to get that booked back in for its work. Yeah. So I know that's being done. Um, and that is quite important to get that done. For all, he did say it wasn't going to go immediately and I haven't been anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, like but um, at the moment you don't really want to worry about if your car's going to have a problem or not, do you? Let's be honest. No, I don't. I would much rather have this fixed. Yeah. Um, I would say um, about the, the supermarkets and that, personally, I would just say go as early as you possibly can. Uh, well, here, the early slots are for NHS elderly and vulnerable. Yeah, but what time does it start general opening? I think about 11.30 onwards, so... Blimey, that's quite late, isn't it? Mm. Our one that I went to last week, they have an NHS slot from 7 till 8, and then general opening from 8 o'clock onwards. No, well, there's elderly and vulnerable, because we've got quite an ageing population. Right. There's no... I know well, it's about half 11 or something like that onwards. So you could be shopping for quite some time. Yeah, or I might not be. Who knows? Um, Denise said it wasn't too bad yesterday. Oh, that's all right then. And she had a prescription to pick up at the hospital as well for someone who was running out of heart pills. Right. And the hospital said, oh, yes, that's urgent. And he said, well, I can't come and get them. I'm not allowed to leave the house, and I can't do this, and I can't do that. And they just said, oh, get a taxi. Yeah, that's really helpful. Yeah, as if 45 quid is, you know, thrown down the drain. Oh, yeah, because we've all got 45 quid that we could just do that with, can't we? And also being in a car with someone like that, I thought people weren't supposed to... Yeah, you know I mean? a lot of the taxi firms are only taking key workers. Right. And some of them have just closed their doors and not doing anything at all. So, you know, and who can blame them? I mean, I suppose quite often it depends on the individual drivers themselves, doesn't it? Because okay. um, I don't know about what it's, what it's like where you are, but where we are, they're all self-employed and it's a bit like an Uber style thing where they go up, they log on to the app and they just have jobs come through on the app and they accept them or whatever, log on when they want to work and log off when they don't. Yeah. So in which case, I suppose it's down to them, you know, do they want to work or not, really? 
Um, well, that's probably the wrong way. It's they probably do want to work. It's whether they feel safe working or not. I should say. Yeah, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah. I know yeah. you to make that call. Can I hear Arthur in the background? Uh, he has been barking, but he's just laid down on the floor now. Actually, I think he he was chasing somebody away who just happened to walk past the house oh okay yeah crazy dog we had a bit of an emergency earlier where coco thought there was no kibble in the ditch <gasps> oh no oh. well she just hadn't been able to check so oh you go and check she spent sort of 40 minutes marking the life out of me up until i tipped the contents of the dish onto the floor and the pair of them went, oh yeah. <laughs> Crisis averted. Yeah, and sat down to eat it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Such a simple thing, eh, isn't it? Well, they're supposed to be easily pleased, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, anybody watching or any comments? I, can um, I think that Emma Jane Sadler might be there. And I think she's probably about the only one. Let's see yeah apparently um i've got a thing up on here on facebook saying say something so that lorraine knows you're here mm, okay mm. oh jennifer's just joined hey jennifer i still can't see us <laughs> you still can't see us no oh well you know you're not missing much only just that emma jane sadler again well, Absolute nightmare. That this is across the Pennines was last active seven days ago. Really? Uh, we've been in there every day. God. Oh, well, I can see it now, now that I've left the group. Oh, look. Force Jennifer. one to refresh. Jennifer's saying hi. Oh, hi, Jennifer. She might want to see your card again. Oh, yeah. Let me just finish my row then. Um, I wouldn't leave it too close to her though, because she might steal it when it's finished. Well, she's got previous, hasn't exactly. she? Exactly. Yeah, not to yeah. be trusted with finished hand mitts. We don't want, you know, we don't want this one going missing, because that other one that you were wearing yesterday, that's already in danger of going missing somewhere. Well, yeah, the, the only good thing is that my mother's not allowed to visit yeah <laughs> oh you wouldn't keep hold of anything no no she's very good at um oh, let me just try that on and then running off the little sleight of hand yeah, she's very good um have a look then uh, really like that I mean, I love seed stitch. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm just not a fan of doing it myself. This is double seed stitch, so it doesn't feel quite so bad because you're more or less repeating the stitches on the wrong side row and then you swap them on the, the next right side row. So you can only I think see where you're at with it, but just single seed stitch or moss stitch um, I find it exhausting and I end up with rib columns on it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I absolutely love it when somebody else has knitted it for me. You oh, know. Mr. Says she'll send her address. <laughs> there you go. See? Oh, this one is Mary Chen by Isabel Kramer again. Not that I've got an obsession with her patterns at all. Not at all. You've never made any, have you? Mm. I made two of Edith. Um, I've made two of Merlin. Um, I've got the sleeves to do on Dalin. <laughs> Sleeve gate. Well, you know, can't be done, hasn't it? Uh, so I can't believe that after our conversation about fruit and nut yesterday, I've now ordered £20 worth of chocolate off that site. £20 worth or 20 bars? 
20 pounds worth 20 pounds and 60 pence or something i think it was okay was for it, eight bars was it about 350 a bar or something i don't know eight bars 20 pounds eight bars what's that about 253 quid maybe that's an average yeah yeah i've got all different flavored ones to try because um i joined the vip club so you get them at a slightly discounted rate and you could choose i think you the, the lowest amount was four bars right i went for eight bars and you could have them you could even have them every week but i went eight bars every two weeks and then you could just go in and change your flavor so i got all different ones this time i thought i'll give them all a try and see what i like yeah I think that's a good plan even even something that you won't enjoy but i do like the coconut I know, I like cocoa. I do like a bounty, but, and you saying about bounties, right? If you're desperate for chocolate, at least you can nibble the chocolate off of a bounty. Oh, do you know, years ago when I was in the shipyard, um, we used to get Twix or something like I that. I love Twix. And there were a lot of men in the departments where I worked. Yeah. When, you know, women were in very much in there minority would maybe be 12 of us out of yeah 700 people it's not a bad thing but i'm sat one day eating a twix and absent-mindedly always eating it the same way where i nibble the chocolate off the outside and then eat the layer of caramel and then eat the biscuit that's how and i eat them and yeah and there's about 300 pairs of eyes staring at me as I'm sucking away chocolate. <laughs> 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 I'm feeling suddenly very self-conscious. But that's the only way to eat a Twix. The same with the double decker. Well, I you, think so. You go around the edges. You up, take yeah. you take the nougat off the top, and mm. then you eat the biscuit bottom. Yeah. So exactly. you've got Twix, double decker, um. What other ones do you have to eat that way? Just trying to think. Even Mars bars, you could really take the caramel. I was saying with great incredulity here, coconut chocolate. Yeah, but does that mean that she likes it or doesn't like it? Um, I don't know. There's a question mark and an exclamation mark. So that kind of suggests that it's a bit like Peter Kay and garlic bread. I wonder if I can just share the screen, what do you think? How do you share a screen? Uh, oh, share screen. Yeah. Share screen. Um. Oh, hang on. Window. Let me have a look. See if I can find it. No, I don't want that. Mm. No, I can't find it. I can't do it. I don't know how I want to do it. It's um, uh, I'm I'm so challenged. I'm sorry. I don't. I can't. I don't know how to do that. Oh, Jenna think Jennifer thinks it's horrible. See, it's just fundamentally wrong. No, I like coconut. No, I like bounty. No, it's. I would eat all no. the chocolate off the bounty, and then I would eat the coconut afterwards. No, in it's... our house, you know, like in most houses, when you get the celebrations or whatever at Christmas mm. and the bounties are already, always left over because they're not worth the calories. Yeah. I actually really like the bounties. I eat the bounties. Oh. I mean, you need somebody like me in your house to finish off the chocolates that nobody else wants. Well, true. And... Um... Mike likes all the strawberry creams and the orange creams that I don't like. But my favourite would be the coffees and the toffees. Oh, do you know, it was always a fight over the coffee between me and my mum. And that pl that place that I ordered the chocolate from actually does coffee chocolate, but it was out of stock, so I couldn't get any. Jennifer says, I don't like coconut anywhere, not soap, shampoo, on its own, nothing. Just nothing coconut, please. 
I am so with you on that, Jennifer. Coconut, like coconut, makes me think about holidays. Coconut suntan cream. Does it make you think of tropic sun? Yeah, it makes you feel like you should be somewhere nice and warm and sunny. It's the mm. summer. I love coconut. You guys, you just don't know what you're missing. Maybe I should post you this coconut scented toilet roll that I've got that nobody wants to use. That's interesting. Scented toilet roll. Yeah. Do people actually have scented toilet roll? Well, it says infused with coconut oil for antibacterial, antifungal, and gentle moisturising of your bottom. It says. Is it supposed to give you a really nice, like, feeling on your bot bot when you wipe yourself or something? I guess I'll have a beautiful body by the time I finish with it. But I have to tell you that driving home from Asda's with it in the car, I had to have the window open because I couldn't stand the smell. <laughs> Whereas I'd be like, oh, I love it. I've actually got coconut hand wash. Well, I say coconut hand wash. I couldn't get any more hand wash at the time when all the shelves had been stripped bare a few weeks back. So I resorted to using shower gel on the on the um, sink for my soap instead. So every time I wash my hands after I've been to the toilet, my hands smell of coconut. So I've got citrus idol, which is great fruit. I like citrus, it's nice. Citrus is good. I have a party to go to tonight. Really? Yeah. It's Anne Hall, my friend Anne. Her, well, you're not allowed to call him a dog, but he is a dog. Is this the sausage dog? This is the sausage, Troy Hall. We have to call him the boy because, you know, he's a boy. Um, it's his birthday, so we're going to have a digital birthday party for Troy. Okay. Does he get cake? Um, I'm not sure. I think you might be getting a lamb chop or something. Oh, I had uh, a minor victory. Oh. Um, HP support said put the dead original black HP cartridge back in your printer. Okay. Yeah. It said this cartridge is out of ink and then proceeded to print the pattern. Oh, wow. Very faintly, and spurted that out. And when you see the colour quality, oh, I love it! Oh man, gorgeous, oh, isn't it? Psychedelic. Um, but at least it's printed, so they did manage to help me with that. Yay! Bit. I've got to leave that one in until the replacement cartridges arrive. Well, days. Better than nothing at the minute, I suppose, isn't it? Well, it was the only thing I urgently needed to print. There are some things for Parish Council I could do with printing. Right. It's all about things like um, just sort of powers because of the coronavirus and the fact that uh, issues are circulated and discussed via email. But there is still an audit trail. Right. You know, what our opinions and comments are and all the rest of it. So I don't think it changes democracy. It's just that there isn't a meeting that the public can turn up to. But to be honest, you're not allowed to go to any council meetings as a member of the public anyway for your own safety as it is. So, oh, right. OK. And we're not allowed to go either. Oh. Because of the risk. So they're yeah. not being done virtually or over email or not at all. We delegated powers to the clerk who has to consult with the chair. Okay. Uh, and nothing's going through planning. I mean, you can comment on stuff, but there isn't going to be planning committee or process. So all of that will just sit there until life gets back to normal. Eventually. Oh, yeah, it'll come. It will eventually, yeah. We don't know when. We don't know how. No, we don't. And tonight it'll be fine. It will. And we'll all enjoy it all the more when it comes. To be oh, honest, I'm quite enjoying... Sorry, my neighbour's home, by the way. All right, cool. Okay. Feeling better? I think so. Pneumonia. All right, okay. 
Yeah, so you were saying you're quite enjoying. No, I'm just saying I'm quite enjoying my life as it is at the moment, you know. I'm not in any major hurry to go out at the moment. I'm not sitting here being driven up the wall going, oh, I need to go out. No, I've gone with the attitude that I am fortunate and lucky to be able to stay at home. I don't see yeah. this as being stuck at home. That's what, I, I mean, I've already started writing my blog for today. And that was one of the things that I've put in there. You've got to change your opinion. It's not, oh my God, I'm stuck at home. You've got to think I'm safe at home. Yeah. And that's what I've been writing about. And just enjoying being at home. I've actually put a flow chart in which is quite funny, I, I found it online, and it says something about, like, should I go out? It says, are you old, yes or no? So wait, if you go, yes, then it says, no, you should stay at home. If you say, no, comes down, it says, are you in good health? Then you say, no, it says, stay at home. Say, yes, and then it goes, you can still transmit the virus, stay at home. <laughs> so no matter where you go or what you um what you answer to any of the questions it basically tells you to stay at home which i thought was quite cool yeah um someone messaged me last night ranting about their loss of civil liberties because oh. they want to travel so many miles out of the town where they live to go for a walk and they're expecting me as pcc candidate yeah whenever that election happens to stand up for their rights against the police and i've stepped back from responding because my initial response would have been along the lines of grow a pair yeah and stop it yeah because there's no excuse for anybody to need to drive anywhere to exercise unless you have a disabled child or some sort of special need where they have to go to, i don't know a hydrotherapy pool or something like that mm -hmm. well none of that's happening at the moment it's is all it? shut isn't it yeah yeah so what yeah what need have i got to drive to the beach to take the dogs because they're bored because they're not going to be happy with the field up the road sniffing the stuff they sniffed yesterday mm. what well, to try i could take them there a thousand times a day and they would find something new so yeah. it isn't anything to do with their benefits or, yeah. or my actual need it mm -hmm. would be a selfish choice on my part and that's yeah. who it is yeah I'm with you. My dog would, well, I say my dog would like to, he probably would like to go to the beach. But I think it's more about the fact that I like to take him there rather than that he likes to be there. It's fine. It, we'll go to the beach when this is all over. I mean, apart from the fact that my battery on my Land Rover is dead and I can't take him anywhere at the minute anyway. But, you know, it's fine. It, it's, we've got a lot, perfectly good field across the road. Just walk across there and we can walk round about. Well, I could walk round that field for hours. Yeah. You know, it's there's plenty of them and you're never going to run out of places to go across there. And I'm lucky that I've got it. So I'm just going to keep going. Well, yeah, I feel quite fortunate that there are walks around. But to be honest, even if it was like it was when I, I lived in Barrow and I had to walk on the street if I wanted to go for a walk. Mm -hmm. then I'd just do that. Yeah. How hard can it be? I know, I know. I think that a lot of people are not used to their own company. They're used to being entertained by other means than themselves and uh yeah, i quite like my company i mean i love my company nice all the time but i'm quite content to just yeah. call me todd <laughs> i was just saying her cat wouldn't like the beach no possibly not but lots of cats don't it. like the beach uh, i don't think i've ever found a cat that would like the beach actually um marvin used to come with us in the car to the beach but, right. And most of his time tucked in the front of my jacket, wrapped around my neck, just purring loudly. 
and I'm going to get to you getting a, a slight pivot. Yeah. Come out walking with us. That's a better for them. Mm. If you walk too far, he'd start howling behind you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. So, you know, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> start, Where are you going? Start contrast, Andrew. One of our Lib Dem members, I've asked him to just keep in touch because he's on his own. So it's, yeah. it's slightly older than me, gentlemen. And I've just said, you know, let me know what's going on out there. If you think there's anything that needs comment or dealing with, and I'll send an email or do whatever. Um, but who knows today to say that some of the bus services have been cancelled and what a sensible decision that was. How he started moderating his travel, um, he's managing to go to the supermarket in Augustine and he's walking around about eight miles a day. Wow, that's a fair All the footpaths and the streets and everything yeah. else. I said, how are you doing? And he said, I'm fitter than I've been in years. Yeah. Do you know, I think there'll probably be quite a lot of people that come out of this a bit fitter because... They're making a conscious effort to get out and get some physical exercise in. Yeah. You know, what is the end of the scale? Jennifer says, one of my cats think the world is going to end if I walk out of the kitchen too far. Oh. Well, cats are funny creatures. That instantly, Jennifer, because, you know, you are distressing them unnecessarily. Yeah. Okay. Those poor puddy cats. I know. I'm not allowed to sneak away. So, uh, did you remember to get yourself a, a fresh brew before we started today? Uh, kind of, in that I made myself a mochaccino. Okay. And then being a bit tired because I've woke up early uncharacteristic, uh, uncharacteristically, um, I then scarfed it and sort of drank it down as if my life depended on it. Oh. Now I've now got an empty mug, but it's fine. Oh. I've got a little bit of cranberry and blood orange left. Oh, nice. Mm. Well, I've had three coffees today, which is unlike me. I don't normally drink that many coffees, but... Um, yeah. Oh, so says good reminder she's going to get some tea now. Yeah, but you definitely need some. One of tea, you've got some on for it, so you do need your fluids. Yeah, got to keep uh, those Jennifer, fluids how, up. how many cats have you got? Four. I'm guessing I'm, four. I'm envisaging this sort of mad cat lady thing. Go on, make a guess, Lorraine. How many do you think? Eleven. You're saying eleven, I'm saying four. That's a bit of a difference. <laughs> no, I think two, perhaps. Two. Has Samantha got cats? I don't know. Um, I can't remember. Samantha works quite long hours, though, doesn't she? And yeah. And things like that. So pets aren't necessarily the. the well, most there you go. You, two cats, three guinea pigs, two bunnies, and a hamster. Oh well. So she has a zoo, a small animal petting zoo. Yeah. I used to have a guinea pig. They're great. Oh, Samantha's got two cats. So oh. they rule the roost, Samantha. Are they the boss in your household and you just do as you're told? Uh, but cats. I mean, I hope so because that is your job with cats. Well, you know, Jennifer, cats what, what, own us. The names of the guinea pigs and, and the bunnies I am, and the hamster, I am curious. I used to have two guinea pigs. They're great. They, they used to have one. They were called chocolate cake and custard, my two. And one used to sit on my chest and watch the TV with me Aww. and used to make funny noises. They make that funny little noise, don't they? I've never had anything to do with guinea pigs. So Haven't don't... you? They're gorgeous. I had a rabbit years ago, a white rabbit called Bobtail. Oh. Hi, Rita. Rita's not got any cats. Have She's got... not got any. Ah. Oh. I used to have a cat, but he moved out with the lady next door. She moved house and he went with her. Well, well, that's cats for you. Yeah, exactly. They choose who's their own. Well, they own you, don't they, to be fair? They do. They uh, absolutely do. Oh, I'm 
I've ended up with an extra stitch somehow. How did that happen? Is that me not paying attention when I'm talking? It's really dumb. Yeah. I'm going to need one, two, three, four. Yeah, we had, I think, three or four cats at the most. Right. We had um, Marvin, who was my black and white male, mm. who I had the longest. Had him longer than I had Jake's dad, really. Right. Sort of a standing joke. Um, um, then we had Ellie, who was a, a tabby, a very skinny tabby, a muscled tabby. Ooh. Um, really good ratter. Right. Ratter. And then we had Puma, who looked like he was he was black with a little white flash on his chest. He looked like he was wearing a tuxedo. He was like a massive bouncer compared to the others. He was huge. And then <laughs> Jazz, who was Ellie's one kitten, who was absolute double of his mother, but with blue eyes. All oh, right. Uh, right, so Jennifer says one of the bunnies is bigger than the cat. She's a French lot. Oh, they're, oh gorgeous. they're gorgeous. The guinea pigs don't really like to be petted, but two of them tolerate her coming close at least. Oh, bless. Oh, that's like Michelle's bunny. You know, Minty Pie Crust. Yes. Will only come out when she wants to come out and she's really shy. Doesn't like it. She can hear a strange voice in the house. She hides. Yeah, I suppose I can relate to that. I have days like that. Yeah, exactly. Arthur nearly caught a rabbit this morning on our walk. Mm. There's a lot of wild ones where we walk. He was quite close to catching one. Oh, so Samantha's saying that one cat is hers, one is her husband's, and they moved in together when we did. They do not like each other even <laughs> Isn't that just that's all of cats. Sounds a bit like stepchildren as well. You know, like the parents get together and you've got one child each and they can't stand each other. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, bless. Yeah. I always think cats like that just spend the day playing chess with one another, trying to outmaneuver each other to get control of the board. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna win? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is coming along lovely. Quick look, I'm on the wrong screen. Hang on, I'll just finish this row. I'm liking those stripes. You like it? Woo! Stripey. It's lovely. Coming along nicely. It's um, just enough that it keeps me uh, a bit interested, but not too much that I can still do it while I'm talking to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Samantha says that's pretty accurate. They're basically our kids. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Blended family, that's what they call it, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit like that. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness, what do you think I could do with a nana nap? What's that all about? I don't know, maybe catching up from the other day. Oh, Jennifer says that's beautiful, Emma. Oh, thank you. It's it's a good pattern. I don't know who uh, who this Lorraine Virtual is that writes it, but, you know. Well, she's some gobby cow. From is she? Well, she writes, you know, I don't know if she's gobby or not, but she writes nice patterns. Oh, wow. So, you know. You should cook, but the chair is still comfy. Um, yeah, totally with you on that. I really need to go and cook something. I have to cook sausages, and I could have those in a sandwich for my dinner. <laughs> that sounds good. I cooked bacon, eggs, beans, tomatoes, and toast at lunchtime. Ooh, breakfast for dinner. Yeah, well, I had it at one o'clock. It was very nice. Well, that's good. What are you planning to cook, Jennifer? What's on the menu today? I'm going to guess spaghetti bolognese. 
could be a lasagna. Mm, could be a lasagna. Or a pasta bear. We've got this thing about carbs, haven't we? She might be doing a chili con carne. Oh, dirty Cajun rice. That's always Ooh. cool. That's really nice. Although the first time I made it, it was a tad spicier than I expected because I was sort of wrestling the lid off the gel Schwartz. And it just went... <laughs> and it sort of did that and there was just loads of it and I couldn't get it out of the, of the mix fast enough. So I just stirred it in and mentioned that it might be a bit spicy. Just hoped for the best. Yeah, and it kind of worked. Jake really liked it. Uh, Jennifer says, I've got shawarma and potato food and maybe some green beans. Oh, shawarma. I love shawarma. Oh, I don't even know what shawarma is. is Shawarma's that... um, Arabic food. It's what? like um, in a wrap, spicy meat. Uh, depend I don't know what meat to come for. It might be a chicken shawarma. Or lamb shawarma, spicy meat with, well, the way they do it in um, in Saudi was the spicy meat with, like, um, it's a bit like a kebab, right? But with a, a flat bread wrapped up. No, okay. Because the only time I actually heard of it um, was in Avengers Assemble. A shawarma. Yeah, because at the end of it. Um, Iron Man is laying on the floor going, does anyone fancy chicken shawarma? <laughs> this is just around the corner and I don't even know what it is, but I really fancy some. And All right. They stay till after the credits. They're yeah. then in this trashed place eating chicken shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I just like those little extras that if you stay... I mean, yeah. after everybody else has legged it out the cinema that you get this. You can little, see them. Little reward of something extra. Are you tempted by the Disney um, subscription service that's launching? I was tempted to have a look at it. Um, yeah. And then I was a bit tired and I just thought, mm, am I in the mood for this at the moment? So I never actually clicked through to see how much it was. And I suppose that will be the deciding factor. Because mm. that's got all the Marvel on it, hasn't it? Marvel, Star Wars. I believe so, and it's got National Geographic, hasn't it? Which yeah, everyone is waxing lyrical about. I mean, I think I would be tempted, but like you say, I mean, by the time you've paid for all of them, all these different services, you're going to be bankrupt again. You might as well have stuck with Sky and be paying a hundred pounds a month for the whole Sky package. Yeah, I kind of feel like at the moment I've just got enough going on yeah. and I'm watching all of that. Mm. Well, I've got the three and I think I'm just going to stick with those for now. Yeah, I mean, I like my stuff on Netflix and I like my Picard and things like that on Prime. Yeah. Um, and I've got stuff on the Skybox. I mean, I've got all the Harry Potter films recorded and all the Twilight films and so plenty to keep you busy but yeah so there's a ton of stuff i can watch if i'm bored and i really can't be bothered to look for something yeah well, it's not it's not hard is it i was watching yeah, what... a couple more episodes of um, big bang last night i do like that all oh, right what whereabouts are you in the i'm um series 11 just before they get married they're planning the wedding Whose wedding? Um, Sheldon and Amy. Oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, not too close to the end, I suppose. It's not, I think there's only 12. Is there 12 series? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I do like Big Bang. I could just watch it all day long. I love the episodes where he's got the Spock toy, the transporter. Which ones are those? And um, he's dreaming that the Spock action figure is talking to him, that it's actually Leonard Nimoy, and arguing with him to play with it. Oh, I don't remember those. Which series was that? No idea. I'd have to look it up. All right. 
I'd have to find I that. It's so good that Leonard Nimoy is in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was a great guy, wasn't he? When did he pass? It's been a few years now, actually, isn't it? It has, yeah. yeah that sounds really weird. Time flies. It's Satna, William Koenig, and Sulu, and Michelle Nichols, isn't there, like? Callum likes the original ones the best. I like them, I must admit. And um, I find it really amusing that an egomaniac like Bill Shatner played yeah. such an amazing and intuitive leader when the reality is he lauded it over everybody else and took every scene that he could. Yeah to make himself the most important, which is absolutely not what James Tiberius Kirk would have done. Yeah. He's a better leader. Oh, see you soon, Samantha. Have a great day. Oh, uh, see you later. Thanks for popping in. Jesus, sweetheart. I'll have to go and get ready for my party soon. I've got to search for a party hat. All right. What other things do you think you need for a, a, a doggy's sixth birthday apart from a party oh, hat? Bonio. A bonio. Oh, Jennifer's off to cook. Have a good one. We'll see you Well, see you later. Like, uh, it is that time. I think most people are thinking about dinner time now, aren't they? Well, and it's an hour later for Jennifer as well. Yeah. Is it still the same now that we've changed our clocks? Oh, I'm not sure. I just lose count, I tell you. I know it used to be three hours difference between me and Phil, and it's now only two, because they don't change their clocks. But I can never remember if the continent change or not. They do, I'm just not sure when they do it. Right. It's far too confusing. It's far too much to think about. It is. And I don't have a t-shirt with a doggy woggy on. So I can't wear special party clothes. Right. Uh, don't think I've got a party hat. I'll have to find some. Oh, I might have a Christmas one. Well, that would do, wouldn't it? Boppers. Oh, Troy won't know. Troy won't mind. Troy will be happy that we're there. He'll think Look. it's a tree theme so that he can pee on them. Exactly. And his mum is absolutely Christmas crazy, so he's probably used to Christmas stuff all the time anyway. Probably still out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think she was going to try and persuade Ian to put the Christmas tree up while we're all on lockdown. To There's cheer her up. People got lights outside their houses for it. Yeah. She it's might be persuaded. In another clap on Thursday night, but I don't know. What right. For the NHS, for the carers, or for the fallen, so to speak. Dreadful about that young lad. Oh, well, two yeah. young men, 13 and 19. It's just really sad. But then maybe that's what was needed for the younger generations to start taking it a bit more seriously, to be honest. Possibly. Um, there's been a death locally of it, of a young ish girl. Right. Man in their teens, I think. Um, someone locally posted that they were upset they couldn't go to the funeral. But it's what happens, unfortunately. You know, it's the way life is, and yeah, it'll be immediately family and nobody else, and you know, just pay your respect in other ways. I'm afraid. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, they're lucky that anybody's allowed to go at the moment. So no, exactly. No, I mean, I was. My, my interest in my parents have hunkered down as if yeah. we were in a time of war. Yeah. Well, I think that's what we need to do. If you look at the streets of Rome and places that are absolutely deserted, yet you look at the UK and it's it's quieter, but it, I wouldn't say it's deserted like it is yeah, in I'm other places. Morning about the number of people wandering around Augustine yesterday between the shops. And I did point out that a lot of these people could be volunteers. Yeah. And the same thing I will when I'm back out there, picking yeah. up prescriptions, going for shopping for other people. So there's mm -hmm. nothing to say that what they're doing out there is even for themselves. 
But there will be a core of people who are going to the shops every day because they think that they're allowed. Yeah. Where is it the last thing that I want to be doing? And if I could order everything online and have it delivered and never set foot in the shop again, I would be a happy woman. I know, I know. See, my, my issue, I, I, I'm torn between volunteering and not. I would love to get out there and volunteer. My problem is that I worry that if something happened to me, how are my two kids going to get on? They've got no one else. Mm. You know, their dad's stuck abroad. They haven't really got any family up here. The rest of my family's hundreds of miles away. And I do worry for all the fact that they're, you know, 16 and 18. Callum has his special needs. I can't see either of them being able to cope with going and doing the shopping. So I just feel like I can't at the moment. I suppose it's a difficult one. Um, I think Jake kind of ex is expecting me to get back out there because yeah. anything like this, then I just would. It's the, yeah, yeah. It's the kind of person that you are, and I do feel like it's something that I would like to do, and I do feel like. Well, you know, why don't you volunteer to do phoning round elderly people and chatting to them? Because I was thinking about that this morning. I already spend six hours a day talking. And I really, this is going to sound awful. I feel talked out. Yeah, that's a fair comment. And by the time I've talked for like so many hours in the morning to check up on students, because that is all I'm doing at the moment, to be honest. It takes me three hours of ringing up parents and students in the morning. Mm. Then I talk to Phil for an hour. And then I talk to you, and then I've got my mother-in-law to ring. And then if the kids want me, I just I honestly feel talked out. Sick of the sound of my own voice, to be perfectly honest. You know, not everybody is going to want to go out or going to be able to go out. It mm. is what it is. Do I know. What you can, maybe what you've got. I know, I know. I mean, if I didn't have my job, you know, if, if that comes to an end, um, I've only got tomorrow and then it, I've got two weeks holiday mm -hmm. and then there's no guarantee that I'm going to have a job after those two weeks. And then once that's, you know, come round, if there's no job for me, then, yeah, I could reevaluate my time and maybe do something yeah. accordingly you don't actually have to be out there and in the thick of it no just be at home and be a listening ear for someone who's stuck yeah although i wonder how i'd cope with that whether i'd just be sat there thinking i'll get a grip <laughs> well it depends doesn't it you know it depends what their attitude is I think sometimes the older generation are great because they are quite stoic, aren't they? And they're very much like, yeah, you know, you've got to get on much. with it. And, and that's that's the kind of attitude I like. But it depends if it's somebody who's all, oh, I haven't seen anyone. I haven't spoken to anyone. Nobody cares. Nobody's bought my shopping. Do well, you know, I my neighbour's the owner yesterday because I've not seen her. Um, yeah since all of this kicked off um, and I wanted to know that she was okay I was bothered I might have infected her right I was trying to see how she was and we chatted for about 40 minutes something like that but there wasn't a hint of I'm stuck at home isn't this awful she mm. was more concerned about the people who were in hospital she was bothered about did I have enough shopping given right. that she can't drive and somebody has to take her she right. was offering to get a taxi to go and pick me up shopping because i can't leave the house and she's oh that's nice suffering from cancer yeah and you just think that you know there's so many really kind and thoughtful people who were putting so much energy into others and um, you know the majority of people that i've dealt with are actually just making the best of it. 
Yeah. Definitely. And my mum's sort of struggling with one of the neighbours who doesn't seem to get the distance thing. She's continually going, get back! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Maybe it's like the other day when you said about, you know, not washing and smelling and all the rest of it. That's what we need to do, don't we? Did, uh, did you ever watch Orange is the New Black? No. Because there was a character in there. She never showered or anything and she looked an absolute mess her hair was out here like a freaking scarecrow she never cleaned her teeth or anything and she stank and um she admitted one day that it was her defense mechanism to keep people away from her because she you know she'd been picked on when she first got into um she'd gone into prison and mm -hmm. been beaten up and all this but because she smelt so bad they wouldn't even come near her to be horrible to her so I think maybe that's what we need. We we need to have like this aura of smell around us. Yeah. And people will just naturally move away. That could work. Yeah, there's a guy just posted. He's got a 3D printer. Right. And he's made this shape that sort of goes around your head. Okay. And a standard A4 binder cover punched with a standard four hole punch right will attach to it to make a ppe screen to go over your face oh cool how just ridiculously clever and he's on about does anybody that's volunteering and going shopping or carers or any of the local doctors or whatever do they want them and how many and can someone help him assemble them Oh, that's fab. how brilliant people are with the ideas yeah. that we have. That is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it looks ridiculously simple. I mean, it's like a cut down version of the welding mask, I suppose. Cool. And I know Armour's at least, who are one of the um, agricultural suppliers in the area. There's yeah. There's a load of um, protective visors to the hospital, which I thought was brilliant. Fab. Yeah, people do seem to be really putting their thinking caps on to figure out where and then to help. The um the Formula One guys have come up with something as well to help with the breathing, haven't they? Mm. Which is amazing. Yeah, um, it's like a, I think they're adapting sort of CPAP type machines, but it's got to have quite a tight seal on the face. Yeah. It's got to be fitted to the face. Um, and there's obviously various sizes and shapes of them. Um, but it's an exceptionally clever way of dealing with the problem of ventilating the lungs, isn't it? Exactly. Um, and a lot cheaper piece of equipment, not cheap by any standards. But, no. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go and get my, uh, and get my tea in a second, get the dog his tea. Get your party gear on. Get my party gear on. So your puppy party, I'll just quickly show you this. Oh, I'm just in love with that. It's adorable, isn't it? I'm isn't it just? And, and, and this double seed stitch, this texture thing going here. Yeah. And it was so pretty in the lace. So yeah. I assume that those cable -y bits are going to carry on going downwards and the seed stitch is going to get bigger and then go downwards once yeah under the arms and the lower body so yeah it's kind of the, the neck gorgeous isn't it what kind of a neck is it gonna have are you gonna pick up a band or something a rib band i think right um as opposed to Vuna, which just has a, a very raw unfinished neck but i quite mm -hmm. like that yeah I'd I generally do like to see a neckline finished. <laughs> I actually really like a garter band, actually. I think garter mm. bands are lovely because they're enough that they're, they're finished and you know that they're finished, but it's a nice, simple like line, isn't it? So, yeah. It yeah. yeah. I did debate about would I pick up the neckline and do a twisted red neckline right 
with the cuffs and the hem. Yeah. But the more I look at it, the more I think it just doesn't need it. Well, well, well there you go. When it's finished, you can... But if I made another one, which I may well do, yeah, um, I could maybe do a few rows of twisted rib. Yeah, you could, yeah. It'd be quite nice. Um, and then there's not even any finishing to do after that. There's just one end to weave in at the top. Yay. It's my kind of finish. That's my kind as well, yeah. Too right. Are you going to give us a quick flash of yarn? Yeah, I've got about two, hang on, two or three stitches and then and then I'm done for the row and then that will be me until party time. I'll, I'll just quietly knit while the party's going on. There we go. Did you see Samantha's uh, zippy zip? I haven't been on Ravelry today, actually. Oh, I tell a lie. I went on earlier and paid my invoice, but that's it's it. My mm -hmm. it's my I'll have a look. How's that then? It's looking really good. It's interesting yeah. how the colour works its way across where it's on that kind of angle. I quite like that. Yeah. So hopefully... Um, Tomorrow, I might be on the next colour, which I think is an even darker blue. That looks like a, a dark blue coming up next. It does, yeah. So hopefully I'll get onto that for tomorrow. So watch this space. Yeah, and if you manage not to tangle it. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I haven't managed to tangle today, so far anyway. Oh, well done, Nick. Yay, one day without getting tangled. <laughs> you Progress. Just, you know, Woo yeah, just so enough. <laughs> uh, just yeah. like you haven't got any comments. I don't think there's anybody. I think else. everyone's gone off to make tea now. Yeah, I don't blame them. Yeah. Right, well, we'll say our goodbyes for the day. All right. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.